The sense of period for movement is very obvious uh, that children have to experience movement to develop the ability to move. In the first year or two, they have to create the function. And so they have to develop all the different movement skills to finally be able to come upright. And so we say that the most important thing for infants is to allow them the maximum possibility of movement. That means we look at their clothing, because very often uh, clothing inhibits their movement. We like for the children to sleep like on a, a, a low bed or a mattress on the floor so they can get in and out. And uh, we remove any kind of containers that inhibits their movement. So we wouldn't put them in saucers because they really need to get, get on the floor, to squirm, to uh, crawl, to creep. And that's what develops uh, the ability to move and coordinates their body and their mind. We know that creeping and crawling on the floor also helps the child's uh, visual development because the eyes are also a muscle and that children that creep and crawl have a more natural uh, experience in coordinating the two eyes as well as all their other muscles. The child's feeling the different textures of the, of the floor and the tile floor, the wood floor, the, the child's experiencing not just the textures but the temperature as they uh, creep and crawl around because you know, rugs may be warm, tile is cold, and so all those things are naturally being experienced through the child's exploration. We develop the hand as a tool. The hand is a tool of, of the mind, you might say. And so very early, we help children to learn even by like six months. We may provide a small fork for the child and something to eat that they can stick the fork in. Things fall off a spoon. Uh, mostly when they start they don't aren't able to rotate their wrist and so we, we start like with maybe uh, little pieces of banana and I sit across from them and I pierce the banana with a fork and I hand it to them straight on so they can reach with their left or right hand. They take the fork and they can get it to their mouth and so they learn uh, to use a fork than to eat. So again, their job is to c learn to care for their bodies. Our job is to help them to do that, not to do it for them, not to do everything for them. So they learn, what, the first basic things to survive. Once a child can stand upright, that frees their hands to begin to really manipulate everything in the environment. And so, we give them many kinds of tools as an extension of their hand. Maybe a tong or something that they can pick up things with and develop all the stages of the hand. The child is involved in large motor activities. In creeping and crawling, for them that would be large motor. When they can stand and walk, they start very quickly into running, jumping, climbing, our large motor activity for a child and uh, very often they climb up into something and down in and out and you think well you know what is it well they're practicing uh, uh, all the movements required and so we provide an environment that encourages that kind of, of movement and once they reach around 18 months and they seem to be steady on their feet and they can walk then they start picking up and pushing everything they can that's heavy we say it's a period of maximum effort. And so again, they'll push chairs, pick up chairs, and we provide heavy things for them. If we're going to move furniture, that their tables and chairs, we ask them to help. So they carry the tables and chairs. They'd rather move all the furniture than do anything else almost at that sensitive period. And uh, so we provide for that. Sometimes we fill large containers with sand if they have a handle that they can pick up and lug and drag. It's like nature says, now you can walk, now let's do some strengthening of the muscles, some weight lifting. If you're carried about, not left to crawl, if everything's done for you, the child experiences inhibition. You're trained to be passive and expect people 
like do something for me. And so again, you, you affect the initiative, development of initiative, development of curiosity. So you have to look at it from the psychological uh, aspect as well as the physiological. In our next episode, Virginia will talk to us about the sensitive period for order. The Montessori for Parents podcast is brought to you by Educational Video Publishing. We offer a 10% discount to viewers of this podcast when you order DVDs by phone. We welcome your feedback and suggestions for future podcasts.